When you're parking your car, you have to remember that it's a transitional space and act accordingly. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Today's lesson comes to us from Brazil and it shows us someone fighting off a couple of attempted carjackers. We're gonna learn some important lessons here about transitional spaces, about watching ourselves when we are parking our car and about taking appropriate steps to defend ourselves and others. I sped the beginning up quite a bit as we see this guy who is a police officer in Brazil and he is backing his car into the garage. This is an excellent strategy. You see a lot of homes here who are, that are kind of compounds and the reason is what we see here is we see these guys roll up and they are armed robbers and or carjackers. This is not uncommon in places like Brazil and does even happen in the States. So as these guys are coming in, why what happens? Well, they're going to run off. They sure reacted like there was a big problem like gunshots coming their way. We're going to see why here in just a minute. This one's over and that officer did a fantastic fantastic job. We talk about uh, protecting ourselves by backing in when possible and if you're going to get into an enclosed space, a transitional space like your garage, until that garage door is closed, backing in can be a very good idea and the reason is is because now you can see. You see that? He's got his headlights out there on these guys. He is able to see and that kind of warning can give you the kind of, of reaction time that you might need to protect yourself. So what we're going to see here is I want to see the first guy get out of the car and you notice here that he uses his left hand to get out of the car and you can see that there's something in his right hand. That's not how you'd normally get out of the car if you're just wondering what's going on. You'd use your right hand to push that door open but he has something in his right hand which certainly looks like a force multiplier like a firearm and the fact that he is backed into his garage means he can see that. We're going to actually see the second guy get out of the car and same thing uses his left hand you can see he has something in his right hand and because he's got headlights on him and because he's backed in he's seen that so as a protective strategy if you have an enclosed garage or something like that until that garage door get closed you're gonna have to either back in or back out so backing in is not a bad idea and now we see those guys react why because our, our defender has had a force multiplier in the fight gotten it into the fight and driven these guys off and they don't want to have any part of them because they're not looking for a fight they're looking for a victim here this off-duty officer did a fantastic job of preparing in advance of being aware of doing what he needed to do to cover his ASP.